Hey guys, now so we are back with the second part of the Liner vs Striker tutorial and in this video I'm going to talk about the actual setup which I recommend for any liner we you're going to fly or which you're flying and for everything. So this is as you can see my setup I have already showed it several times and first thing I'm going to talk about is the holes because many people always say like um, ach, the holes don't matter that like HP is more important than armor because I have more points um, on the left side of my screen but actually having more hold points that mean that you are more resistant and to fight a striker you don't need a lot of hold points you just need to be resistant and to actually reduce his damage and that's what the armor does. You have to use, or I will really recommend you using armor because if you use armor, using a DC pack will be more efficient because in the time and like one striker, like in about 27 seconds, if your skill is level 10 on the DC pack, on the damage control, the repair will be f not 30 seconds, it will be 27 seconds. In 20 seconds, a striker can make more damage than about, as you can see here, 794. But as you're using like armor, like I am doing, I have here armor plates. My armor is actually that high that, see, so you can see here, my armor is 55.3, and the striker armor piercing of a gun is just five. If he doesn't use armor piercing ammo, actually. His damage will be quite low. It's about of a level 15 gun. That's about four to six, seven damage, maybe up to ten sometimes. But his damage will be very low. And imagine, like in 27 seconds, how much damage a striker can make to me? One single strike. Um, let's say it's in Mark 7, so he can make approximately about 500 to 600 damage. But in the 20 seconds, I'm going to use the C pack of 794. HP and then I am actually winning against him and this is really important because if you don't use armor plates the striker will most of the time do about 80% of the damage he can make and that's about 10 to 20 damage and level 15 gun striker can make about 20 to 30 damage each shot if he actually hits everything and he can have his armor piercing is higher than the actual armor of the ship he's attacking. Okay, for the second thing is, if you like using a lot of long range guns, you know, to have less energy reduction and you're using like 2 to 3 DC packs because then you have even more energy and you can use it more, um, your firing rate will be very low and sometimes the striker is getting out of your dead angle and you have like a little time to shoot him about maybe sometimes five to six seconds and if you're having like long range guns the um, shooting um, the reloading time will be that high that sometimes you can just make a single shot and that's reducing your chances of making a hit on the striker that's why especially in the left corner down here I use a shotgun and shotgun is this shotguns are pretty useful against like strikers and escorts because you can hit them more and you have more higher chances to hit them. Against liners it's also useful but especially like fighting some other ships like the escorts and strikers like short and medium guns should be recommended and I'm not go going to show you why I am using a single shotgun on the left downside here. As you can see on my weapon slot number one, I have the shotgun. And now looking from above, so looking from above, this is my firing angle. And this is my second gun. The second gun I put on medium because I need, I don't ha need too much. It has to do with my overall dam um, setup that I not using like full shotguns to actually still have some energy to use my DC pack several times a better. And this is the other this gun. This is num gun slot number three. As you can see his dead shooting angle is different than the shooting angle from this gun. So I when the striker is like down here at this point 
I am just able to shoot with two guns. You see, those two guns are the only ones to shoot. And this is why I have a shotgun down here to have actually more chances. And yes, like higher chances to hit him when a striker is like at this point and even an escort. And on the other side I have a long range gun which is used for energy, bal energy balancing with the other guns over here. And I'm using also the two the point defense which are like small striker guns which don't have a lot of damage but they have good accuracy and I can hit strikers pretty good. And even with those two computers um, the striker will have some problems. Now we're back in the outpost, actually in the base star and for the computers uh, really, if you want to have better chances against strikers because they're always bugging you like that, you can use two hacks. And really, we recommend to use two hacks. Uh, you have, you can choose between two actually. Yes, you choose between two hacks, and this is one first one is the avoidance hack because if you get it, it reduces the enemy's avoidance, as you, as the statistics are always saying. And the other hack is which I personally not using because I just want I don't want to spend a lot of qubits and different setups and yeah, that's the point is this one is the damage hack because if you have armor plates and you also reduce the enemy's damage with this computer he has actually such a low damage that you can actually just forget about him when he's shooting you and that's what like assault liners can do if you're flying an assault liner and you have this hack with armor combined and a DC pack and like one or two strikers attacking you you can actually just keep on flying and you can forget about them you know you can just forget about them and don't care that they're attacking you you can just repair up a little then you can repair up against for full life again you put on one of the strikers the hack again and then you if you have too much time you can just jump and they have no chance Yes, we have fully no chance. With another aspect of the holds I have early forgotten is that you can use, or which a lot of people use, is this item. It's a minefield. Minefields can deal a lot of damage to ships which fly through them. But why I don't recommend to use minefields is that a minefield, first of all, has a big, big amount of reloading time, immense reloading time. It's actually in German here, but if you look at your own screen, you can say it will say like reloading time, and even though I have the skill on number 10, it will still take ages to reload a minefield. And the damage, if you like, we upgrade them, as you can see, it's not that high still. Yes, you can use like the nuclear minefield that causes merits and a lot of strikers don't fly through minefields. It's just a big wall and they can like dodge it and fly around it and still attack you around it. And it doesn't help you against stealths because, okay, it does help you against stealth if the stealth pilot is too dumb to, to fly around it. But if a stealth like shoots his missiles, at you and you're like behind the minefield, your missiles will still fly through it. And it makes no difference if you're standing behind it or in front of it. And a lot of strikers still do that. And a minefield is actually making you staying on one point. If you want to stay in the minefield and you fly through it all the time, you actually more concentrating on flying through the minefield than concentrating on to keep your guns shooting on the strikers. And as you can see still, I am flying through guns, I don't use missiles, because why should you use missiles nowadays? If most ships are faster than your missiles, a striker can shoot down your missiles, they have 200 minimal range, and a stealth can just simply cloak and your missiles will not longer be locked on on it. And the too much carriers using flags, liners using flag and point defense. And if you like flying with missiles, 
you don't have the like the nice point defense which can save you against a lot of missile runners, against stealth, against strikers. The missiles cost a lot of tulium and a lot of people have tulium problems nowadays and yeah, why should you use them? But yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I could help you with this tutorial again. And yeah, if you want to keep on we keep on doing some tutorials because I will try to make some more gameplay showcases of what you can do, like how to move to be able to fight a stealth or striker even better, then yeah, make it write down in the comments, write down it on the phone sites, I'm going to post a video also on. And yeah, I hope I could help you with this tutorial again. And no, yeah, see you next time. Bye.